The Axiom Station is a next generation space station. Axiom Space won an exclusive contract with NASA in 2020 to attach to one of the ports of the International Space Station our commercial module. The very first module will have habitation for up to four crew members as well as some laboratory space. The second module, which then attaches to the first, will be the same. The third module is purely a research and manufacturing module. So it is all about developing materials in space, doing science in space, and commercial payloads, both research sorts of things and then outreach, STEM, all kinds of things that people will be using for space. And our fourth module, which will go up in late 27 or early 28, okay, will have all of the power and thermal control that we need to be able to detach from the ISS at that point and become a free flyer. We've learned over the last few decades about using lower Earth orbit is that you can do a lot of things in microgravity that you can't do in the Earth. So developing metals, for example, okay, when you're actually sort of uh, trying to extrude metals or form them into shapes, you don't have the pull of gravity, which perturbs that process a bit, so you can create things that have a lot more tensile strength. When you're building lenses, for example, for optics, both optics that human beings might use directly or also industrial applications, Protein crystals okay, grow much bigger um, in, in microgravity, and that has pharmaceutical implications. We've done tissue growth experiments in microgravity. So really what we've done now is just what they've, what's happened with the International Space Station. Of course, Axiom has partnered with NASA um, and very proud of that. Um, but what's happened on the International Space Station with all of the international partners, 109 countries now that have collaborated on the ISS, is that they've laid this groundwork for what we're gonna be able to do in space on this next generation station that has more capabilities. I think we haven't started to learn yet what we're gonna be able to do and the innovation kind of technologies and the sorts of breakthroughs I think we're going to find in space over the next 30 years is just going to be extraordinary. Hold on to your hats.